All right, today we're gonna to show you part number F9016. This is a Firestone pressure switch. Now this pressure switch is designed to operate with air helper springs to keep them at the correct pressure level. Typically, activating the compressor at 90 PSI and then turning off the compressor at 120 PSI. Now the threads on our pressure valve is also 1 8 inch national pipe thread. Now we'll go ahead and be using this part to replace one that's pre-existing. Just use some adjustable pliers. And we'll go ahead and unthread it. Now while we're at it, we're actually gonna replace our T here. So we'll go ahead and cut the line and go ahead and unthread the T from the pump. Now the new T we're going to install will be part number F3066. This is a Firestone compressor T for quarter inch tubing and the threads are gonna be 1 8 inch national pipe thread. We got plenty of excess line, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut the line with a tubing cutter. Make sure you cut as straight as possible. All right, now the tubing cutter we're using is part number F9009. And we'll just unthread our T. Maybe a good idea to go ahead and inspect the threads, make sure they're clean. And we'll go ahead and install the new T. It has already a sealant already put into place. We'll just go ahead and thread it in. And then we'll tighten it down. Now our new valve also has sealant on the threads. So we can go ahead and just tighten it down. And we'll use an adjustable wrench to go ahead and snug it up. Okay, now we don't have to really crush it, but make sure it's nice and snug. All right, we'll go ahead and take our airline. And since we have a clean cut on it, we can go ahead and stick it back into T. Push it in, make sure it goes in all the way. We'll take the protective cap off our pressure switch and we can go ahead and reinstall our wires. Okay, now we have power going to it, so it should kick on our compressor and start to fill up the air tank. All right, I'm gonna temporarily disconnect our wire harness. We'll go ahead and spray down the whole fitting and pressure switch with soapy water and check for bubbles. That way, no bubbles, no leaks, and that's what we want. In just a few moments, we have our pressure switch changed out and our new T installed as well. All right, now finish it for the compressor T, part number F3066, and our pressure switch, part number F9016, both from Firestone. 